Hi everybody, welcome back to Vintage Fashion Hat Chat. I'm Norma Shepard, director of the Mobile Millinery Museum and the author of five books on vintage fashion, including 1,000 hats, and I'm kind of enjoying black today. I'm bringing you one very special bonnet from the Victorian era. It'll be a short video, uh, but I'm uh, enjoying wearing my Erickson Beeman earrings. Uh, gives a little bit of pizzazz to an otherwise all black outfit. Speaking of black, um, of course, all of the old, unless we're looking at fashion plates from the Victorian era, the photographs, of course, from that time are sepia tinted. Uh, we see um, we see the images in black and white, and we so often just assume that that's kind of all the Victorians wore. Not necessarily the case. Uh, when we're thinking of black bonnets and black hats in the Victorian era, we're uh, thinking mainly um, mourning. But the bonnet I'm bringing you today is not a morning bonnet, but it is rather typical of the style uh, mid-Victorian era. So Queen Victoria, her reign was from 1837 to 1901. And if you think sort of in the middle of that era, um, well, throughout the era, of course, styles of bonnets, styles of hats, styles of hair uh, varied, of course. And so that helps us pinpoint some of the styles. At one point, lappets were very popular. Um, they were often hand crocheted or they were lace. Often they were white and they might be worn under a bonnet uh, or they might be incorporated into uh, the formation of a bonnet or hat. Sometimes they were black. Um, the, the hat I want to show you today um, has a sort of a sense of the lappet style, but it is not, it, it doesn't have lappets exactly. Now, first I want to show you a picture of a hat from the book, 1,000 Hats. And I want to draw your attention to this one down at the bottom, this silk cap with crocheted lappets. So you can see that that would be worn at a time when the hairstyles were very close to um, the skull. This, is, this would not be um, formed over rats or false hair. Um, very, very plain. But it has this feminine drapey effect and that is what I want to, you to keep in mind when I show you uh, the hat that I brought back from a vintage hall in Montreal. It has that same effect but it's um, rather more special in my opinion. We're going to put it on our lovely mannequin here who has not yet been officially baptized. Uh, some people have suggested that her name should be Millie since she's a millinery mannequin. So you can see this certainly has this Victorian look. It is a very close to the skull cap. Yeah. So it it really it falls beautifully from every angle. It's basically a double bow hand done and completely covers the head and the hair. Uh, at this time in history, many of these were made by hand, of course, and some people uh, made them for themselves at home. It's, as I mentioned, just two lengths of black silk, almost like a taffeta, although it's a little thin, and it, they have been shaped into a bow motif and hand ruched together, the two layers at the center. And so you can see that one falls a little short of the other. And all of it both layers are trimmed in this beautiful, beautiful black crochet work. So sometimes when you find uh, vintage hats and bonnets, depending on where and how you find them, uh, you may not be certain of how they were worn or even if, if they were intended to be worn on the head as a bonnet. But um, that's one of the things that we're so grateful about at the museum when we receive donations or we're able to purchase something with the provenance or a photo of 
how it was originally worn or even there's a lot of people there who put away special garments with a little handwritten note and it's so much fun to come across those anyway i'm going to leave you with that as i said this is a short video today i um, will see you again thursday if you like this type of content please hit like share subscribe subscribe so others can find us and um, till i see you again have a happy day